Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna create this amazing food slide animation in After Effects. All right, let's get started. Create a new composition. We name this in comp. Yeah, okay. So I have a bunch of assets here. I'm gonna create a new composition and set this to 500 pixel by 500 and rename this to food one underscore one hit okay and i'm gonna drag and drop this here scale it down and roughly align the food to the center of the composition go here in your project panel create a new folder and rename this food pre comp okay and i'm gonna drag in this food pre comp inside that folder so that we are organized i'm gonna select this food one and duplicate this Control d and go inside this and i'm gonna delete this and drag in a new image and i'm gonna do the same so i'm gonna do again Control d to duplicate so it's food three double click to go inside and delete this and i'm gonna drag in a new image and i'm gonna do this for the rest of the image okay all right once you are done with the pre-com of the food let's go back to the main composition and if i collapse this you have the food one to food five so let's go and create a new solid inside this main composition layer new and solid i'm gonna pick white and rename this bg for background hit ok and i'm gonna drag in this food one inside this and maybe i'm gonna lock this background import this food two and move it over to the side somewhere here and food three move it to the side roughly align the distance between these two drag in food another food comp and hold down shift and if you drag it it will go to the x-axis it will move over to the x-axis only and the last one which is this so align it roughly here so select all these comps and go to align if you don't find align go to window and check this align and you'll find it somewhere here and click this distribute horizontally make sure you select this to selection not composition so selection and if i click this and it will distribute it evenly across all these pre-comps okay all right once you have this let's go and create a new composition and this time i'm going to rename this for the title set the width to 900 2000 hit okay we're going to select the text tool i'm using this tanker font draw a box and you can type in your text so i've copied some text here let me just zoom in and let me just discard this i don't need this and i'm gonna select this and make it small something like that okay and maybe i'm gonna make this smaller like this what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna duplicate this Control d and move this down here so we have five foot slides so i'm gonna need five of this of course you have to go and change the names of the food so i'm just going to make it like this for the sake of this tutorial you can always go ahead and change the names one two three four five all right so here we have the the food i'm going to select all this again and align and distribute it evenly click this so it will be evenly distributed across this okay so you have to go and change the name of this uh, food so for the sake of this tutorial i'm just leaving it like this let me go to the main composition and just drag and drop the title drag and drop this and maybe i'm going to change the color i'm going to add fill change the color of this title to say black okay so move it here so the text will be appearing somewhere here okay once you have the title in place let's grab this rectangle tool with no stroke with a fill of black and i'm going to draw a box across this where you want the text to come and reveal itself so i'm going to rename this mask and i'm going to do 
is hit F4 to bring up this track mat options. And I'm gonna set this to alpha mat, so. All right, once you have all this set up, let's move on to the main animation of this. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is turn on this title action save so that I can align it perfectly. And let's create a new null object. I'm gonna rename this uh, position controller and just move it above this. Select all the foot comp and parent this to the null object that we have just created. Hit P on the keyboard, go to the first frame, set a keyframe, and I'm gonna hit hold down, shift and page down twice. And I'm gonna move it somewhere here, like this. So move it here, and I'm gonna hold this frame, one, two, three, maybe four times. Set a keyframe, and I'm gonna move again, one, two, And I move it here and I'll hold the keyframe. Every time I move forward, I hold down shift and page down one, two, three, four. Set a keyframe and I'm gonna move it again. Hold down shift and page down twice. And I'm gonna move it here, okay? So if I play it back, it's gonna be very boring Goes there, stops it, stops. Okay, so that's the kind of basic animation. So now you have that. We're gonna add a little expression to this to have a bouncy movement. So I've already covered that in my previous tutorial. So we're gonna use this expression that we use in this video. If you haven't watched this video, make sure you watch it. So let's go and copy the expression from this. Copy this and we're gonna paste it here in the position information. So hold down Alt and click on this top watch and I'm gonna paste and I'm gonna paste this, Control V to paste it. And if you see now, you have a bouncy style animation. You can see that, that's very nice. Make sure you don't add any is, is in or is out keyframes here. So let it be a linear keyframes like this, okay? So leave that for now and let's go and select this food one. I'll hit P, hold down shift R and hold down shift and S. So position, scale and rotation. So set a keyframe for this. I'm gonna scale this to 150. Drag down the position somewhere here. Select the position controller and hit U to know where the keyframes are. So hold down shift and it's two times. So exactly at this position this keyframe we're gonna set this back to you know zero and 100 and we're gonna, we're gonna rotate it one time the image of this full one you can see the shadows here we're gonna fix that go inside this and select this go and select this ellipse tool and you know draw a mask something like that and hit F and feather it, you know, 10 pixel. And if you go back to the main composition, you know, that fixes that. And we're gonna add the expression for this as well. V, control V. And I'm gonna add the expression and expression here. So hit U, that's foot one and Foot two, P, hold down shift, R, R, and S. So position, scale, and rotation. So from here, I'm gonna set a keyframe. And here, I'm gonna scale it up to 150. And I'm gonna move it down somewhere here. And I'm gonna rotate it one time, okay? And I'm gonna paste that expression you're gonna do this for all the layers. Okay, it's a very simple process. Let's go and do it for the rest of this. And if you see that now, very nice. So after that, you're gonna add a blank keyframe here for this and for this. So we're gonna follow this. So it comes here 
and food two. You're gonna add the scale to 100 and set the Y position to zero. So if you see it comes in and slides back out. So we're gonna add a rotation, which is, uh, it's gonna be two here. So if you play it back, there is a hold keyframe again, just hold that. So we're gonna do the same for this as well. Hit P, hold down Shift, R, and S, okay? Set, set a keyframe for this and move it here. It's gonna be at 150 and move it down. It's gonna be the same process again. It might look confusing, but it's very simple. And it's going here, it's holding the frame and slides back in, okay? So that's very nice. We're gonna add the expression for this as well. So hold down Alt and paste it. So once you have that, we're gonna do the same for this foot four, hit P. Hold down Shift and R, hold down Shift and S. So at this keyframe, set a position, scale and rotation keyframe. Go here, we're gonna scale back up to 150 and we're gonna adjust the position somewhere here and the rotation to one. What we're gonna do is there is no rotation for this foot three. So hit U to bring up the keyframes and here we're gonna scale it back to 100 and the rotation will be two times and the position will be zero okay the y position so it's gonna go back up there okay that's very nice you'll have to go inside this and add the expression for this as well okay and paste it so i'm gonna leave the expression in the description down below you can go and copy it for yourself okay so once you're there we're gonna animate the title of this hit p on the keyboard it's very simple set a position keyframe oh, so when it goes here you're gonna move the position up here and hold the keyframe here so from here to here you're gonna move this up like this and Hold the keyframe, blank keyframe, and the last one, which is this, and slide it up. So of course you have to go and change the name of this food, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just putting it simple. Just go inside this title and you can go and change the names of this. Go back to the main comp, make sure you turn on the motion blur for the layers and for the composition as well. I hope you like this video. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.